Hey, hey, what's up garden friends? Jeff here, how's everybody doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm great. It's a gorgeous day, sun's out, fountain's going, smells fantastic from the jasmine, and that's it, it's not from anything else. <laughs> Garden's still looking sad. Things are starting to green up over on the lawn, just that lushness of spring. I have had this insatiable urge to just plant grass. Yeah, that, that doesn't probably sound that exciting. It's spring, very, very, very early spring, and it's that time of year where I just want that lushness and that green around. I figured, why not throw together a little grassy spring planter? I have several others I want to do too. So like I said, I just want to put grass in absolutely everything. Don't know why, but I need to get this out of my system. Isn't this cute? Talk about adorable, right? This up from Michael's on one of their little Easter spring decor sales, Ashland Easter Crate. It's what that says there. I want to plant this part in the figures. I've been prepping soil, getting ready to do this video. Typically, if I'm planting up a basket or something wooden, I drill a hole in the bottom, which you can see here. I've already done that, have a hole in the bottom, and then put a plastic liner in there, trim it down to size or fold it down to size. And then usually I'll pull a piece of that plastic through and snip it so that the water can drain out. But I noticed that this little Tupperware thing here, this fits in here absolutely perfectly. So I'm just I'm just gonna go with that, which with what I wanna put in here should be totally fine. It's always ideal to have drainage holes inside of the containers. You just have to be careful with how it gets watered. That is all there is to it. So with this container, I had thought about putting a tulip in the center. Aren't they just stinking cute? Look at these things. I had these at the grocery store. They're so tiny and petite. But the thing is when I get grass in here, by the time the grass has grown up and done anything and starts to look nice, those tulips are gonna be done flowering. That's the thing with tulips, they're pretty, but very short-lived, not all, but usually the kind you pick up from a forest, they don't last too terribly long, especially when you see them opened up like this. Probably not going to be around for very long. I did grab one that was smaller and it still has some time for some flowering, but still, eh, I don't think so. This is going to be in my house for decoration. It's going to sit on a counter near the window and I have cats. So I would just prefer to keep everything in here edible and safe. And that should be easy to do. So there's only gonna be two different types of plants in here. I have a cup full of wheatgrass seeds and we can head on over here to the pansy department, pick something out to put in the middle. Ooh. That's a pretty one. I like this one too. It's bigger with larger flowers. So something with some more color might be nice. Just like a classic purple and yellow pansy. I oh, have to make decisions now. Yeah. I think this is the one. I couldn't make up my mind between the one over here that just is so pretty with that fun splattered color on it. And then the one with the yellow over here. So I was just, just go with the thing that drew my eye in first. These are, hello, there we go. Matrix lavender shades. Try and make a little well here. Drop that pansy inside of it. And then this is already almost done. All right, and here are the wheatgrass seeds. I'm gonna put a very nice hefty layer of these all the way around the top, lightly cover them with some soil, give them a little bit of water. The wheatgrass is gonna to have to stay trimmed very short. So there is that to keep in mind. The pansies aren't going to get very tall, but that's okay. Also, if you do something like this, if you just take the insert out when you plant it up, that'd be smart. And I also realized that since this is so easy to lift in and out of here, that I may as well poke a hole in the bottom so I can just take it to the sink when it needs to be watered. I know the one pansy probably seems a little bit odd, but I just kind of want it to look like just a little random chunk of a meadow. And I think that that's going to do the trick. I don't, when I think of meadows, I don't really think of tulips. Looking forward to seeing this grow. It's amazing how much things can change in just like, what, eight to ten days? Look at them. Poor tulips, they're so sad. Although, I have to say, it lasted a lot longer than I thought they would. Neither here nor there. We're supposed to be updating on the grass. Look at the grass. Look at it, isn't that adorable? I love it, I think this is stinking adorable. Came out to be pretty much what I expected. Clearly, well, there's some things to talk about in regards to the pansy that's poking out from up there. Before I get to that, pop this out. I wanted to mention that I did draw a hole in the bottom of this, which is now full of roots, but the water's still been flushing through just fine. It's made watering this a lot easier because I can just take it to the sink, run the water through it, and flushes right out, let it sit for a few minutes, and I just come over and plop it back in. Super easy. Worked out well that I just happened to have a food storage container that slid right in there and was such a nice fit. Something I didn't really elaborate on, like I thought I made the point, but maybe not, was that I used the pans in here, pardon the neighbor's dog. He's 
being very vocal this morning. The idea here was to be able to have something really lush and green that could sit on the counter that was very spring-like that I didn't have to worry about the animals with. Wheatgrass is actually just loaded with all kinds of health benefits from what I read. I, I'm not a particular fan, but the cats enjoy it. I chop pieces off and give it to my parrots and the iguana. I like looking at it. It's fun rubbing my fingers through it. You can see where the cat has come in and done some chewing on it. I went ahead and let him do it. I thought about keeping it away from him just until this video was done so we could see what it looked like if it hadn't been chewed on. But really, I think those various layers just add to the authenticity of grass. I've only had to water this a few times, but again, it hasn't even been two weeks. I think we're about eight to ten days in since I potted this up. Wheatgrass is so much fun to grow. You scatter those seeds. You don't really even need to top dress it. I prefer to just because it helps hold some moisture in for them. But they sit around for a couple of days and then they start putting out their roots and then about day three, normally you start to see a little bit of green and then by like day six or seven, you've got a few inches of grass. It's just fun. It grows fast, super easy, nice to look at. Does need a prune. So I brought my scissors out here mostly just so we can free up some space in there for that pansy. So I'm going to come in here and give this a cut all the way around, just about half of it. I think that that would be enough to take off of there. That should let some light in there for the pansy. Oh, good. Neighbor's got his leaf blower out. That was very satisfying. I enjoyed going in there and cutting that much of it off. It's not perfectly even, but that's fine. In regards to the pansy, we're being really honest here. Probably shouldn't put anything in the middle or perhaps leave a big gap to put a potted plant. Something in a cute little tiny pot in the center might be a better idea so it can be lifted out and tended to and <laughs> given some airflow so it doesn't end up all stringy and scraggly looking. But hey, you know, you don't know until you try. Really the pansy was more of just like an accent or an afterthought. It wasn't something that I was totally hung up on having in here. It has several buds on it, so that'll be flowering again here pretty soon. I was really hoping that it would go ahead and pop open a flower for the final reveal of the grass and the thing, but it just, it wasn't happening. It's some dirt on the sides here. On that note, because everything I put in here is intended for the cats to be chewing on it, I made sure to use an organic potting mix, a fresh, organic all-purpose potty mix, something where I wouldn't have to worry about there being any like contaminants from the bag being left outside or any like Solaris fertilizers, those sorts of things. Just wanted to keep it safe. And really, if there's Solaris fertilizer down the soil, I don't I don't really think that would hurt anything, but just to be safe and to keep it pretty plain. Nothing that had all kinds of stuff going on in it. Oh, and here's the type of seed that I use. I don't have a particular brand that I prefer. I just honestly went for whatever was cheapest and would arrive quickest because as I mentioned, this was something I needed to get out of my system. When I was wanting to do this, I was feeling very, very, very impatient. Just wanted to get it done. Hopefully you didn't come to this video hoping it was like a wheatgrass care guide or anything like, I'm, I'm not that person for sprouting information. That's not me. I was just like, hey, wheatgrass, easy to grow, safe for the pet, cheap. And as far as seed growing is concerned, pretty much instant gratification. They sprout and take off so quickly. I don't think there's a ton to say about growing wheatgrass. It's one of those things where I've grown it and just never put much thought into it. They need light, they need water, pretty just normal plant stuff, right? If you have anything to add, go ahead and put that down in the comments. That would be useful to people. <laughs> you do my job for me. Thank you, I appreciate it. No, this was intended to be like a spring thing. Actually, I like this enough that I would probably keep this in the house all year round. I typically when I grow wheatgrass, generally have to like start over every couple of months because it starts to just get sort of thinned out and sad. But you also saw how many seeds I put in this too, right? I really, really put a heavy layer in there because I wanted this to be very, very full. Ooh, this would look good with chives too. That would be an option. Not safe for the pets though, but if you really, really, really like chives, they grow quickly, easy to sprout, easy to keep growing. Probably going to be more particular about lighting but that's, that's neither here. We don't need to talk about that. That's not important right now. I have like various Easter-y type spring decor that I had thought about adding on here is just like embellishments, but I don't really think it needs it. Especially if just laid over it like that. That wouldn't make sense, but like glue some beads or something around there. Or there's this carrot garland that I got from Michael's when I picked this up. Like that could be, could do something fun and cute with that. I mean, look at that. Isn't that just Beautiful. No, not so much. Maybe put some more time and effort into how that would be arranged, but you can see putting some fun things in there. Could plant less grass or just plant some in the back and leave a gap to put like a little 
So chocolate Easter bunny, some sort of decoration, possibly some fun, colorful eggs. So many possibilities. But really, I just wanted the grass. I wanted that springiness. It's fun to touch. The cats enjoy it. Pets are loving it. Easy to grow, and that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Sorry the pansy's not in bloom for the reveal of the video, but when it does bloom, then I'll make sure to post that to Instagram so it'll be around. Look how there's this beautiful painted egg, and I left that all the way back there where it can't even be seen. Look at that. Fun. Cute. Spring. Oh, well, that doesn't look half bad. If I were willing to just have grass drying up all over the counter in my house, then that would be beautiful. Yeah, that's cute. That's cute. I like it. Comment down below. Tips, tricks, suggestions. Always appreciate it. This video was just meant for fun. Not necessarily any type of education. Just watch me plant grass and be selfish and do the thing that I want to do right now. I just keep fidgeting with it. Now I'm actually kind of excited to take this back in the house and set some decor around it. It was too early for that when I started this, but I think it's okay now. Oh, and one last thing before I wrap this up, just in relation to the pansy that's in the middle. I'd mentioned the whole point of the wheatgrass is one just because I wanted it around because it's just adorable and fun to have. But the pansy I chose as a centerpiece, albeit a totally unnecessary centerpiece, because generally pansies are considered safe with the cats, but there's really a lot of mixed information out there on the internet about the safety with cats. With people, you're supposed to be able to eat them. No problem, but just because it's safe for humans does not mean the same for animals. So if you think your cat's going to chew on the plant, then maybe don't put it in there. I don't think having a plant in the middle was a good idea, period. Maybe something small and potted or a tiny little bud vase. You could throw some flowers in, something like that might be better, or just nothing at all. That might be a good idea. The general consensus when I've been looking around on the information for whether or not they're toxic to the cats has been probably not. It could upset the stomachs of some cats, the seeds pose a potential problem so be careful. I've used pansies in the house like around in different arrangements for years and my cat just he doesn't usually pay any attention to them or touch them which is generally a sign too that there might be something up with the plant because he doesn't really chew on anything that's ever been bad for him. He goes for the spider plants, some of the calatheas, some of my orchids, things that are safe but he's never chewed on the pansies so keep that in mind. I want to make that disclaimer just don't don't do the pansy just be safe leave that out of there. It was a bad idea. Potentially cute, but probably not a great idea if the point is for your animals to be able to chew on it. Hope everybody's doing well. Having a great day, great life, and everything's just going absolutely beautifully for you. And of course, as always, and most importantly, everybody, keep on growing. Bye-bye.